five things they are not telling you about LiveScope, also known as Forward Facing Sonar. Okay. Please subscribe. I have more than 300 fishing videos on my YouTube channel, Jeff Battlefish. Take a look. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you. I also have many videos on forward-facing sonar since I installed it about eight months ago. YouTube and live scope experts are not telling you everything. I'm here to help you understand the expense and time it takes to make forward-facing sonar work for you. Thing one, it's expensive. Chart plotter and live scope bundles start at $3,700. LiveScope alone is $1,700 for the black box and the transducer. Thing two, and it's expensive again. Besides the chart plotter and the transducer and black box, you have elevated mounts, transducer poles, cabling, wiring, and installation. It's recommended you use lithium batteries, so you might as well get lithium batteries for your trolling motor as well, as much as $800. And don't forget the lithium ion battery charger, $450. And if you want to see where your live scope is pointing on your chart plotter, you'll need a heading sensor. Garmin's is called Steadicast, can cost as much as $250 additional. Thing three, you have to be an accurate caster. You are casting at fish close up and far away in various directions with current and wind. Using live scope or forward facing sonar, you're hunting, not fishing. We tracked this tarpon for 20 minutes and this was the fourth cast before he took the bait. If you have your live scope settings set correctly, you can see your bait, and this helps with your casting accuracy. Thing four, you'll need a remote controlled trolling motor, preferably with a foot pedal. This helps track fish and find them. When hunting fish with a trolling motor and live scope, oftentimes you have to stop the boat with current and wind and turn around to chase a fish. Trolling motor makes that possible. In this example, we were trolling along at almost two miles an hour with an outgoing tide when we saw a fish up at the seawall and needed to stop the boat to chase him. Thing five, time on the water, trying to identify what's structure, what's a fish, what's a catchable fish, and the size of the fish. It just takes time on the water understand what you're looking at on your live scope. I hope this helps you understand what you've not been told about live scope or forward facing sonar. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I have more than 300 fishing videos on my YouTube channel, Jeff Battlefish. Take a look, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.